Hi, this is Ian Stewart from Flowtad Mastering, and in this video, I'd like to show you some of the enhanced workflow and productivity features in WaveLab 12. First and foremost, both the WaveLab project and montage have been pretty heavily overhauled to make everything from setting up a project and asset management to consolidation and backup faster, easier, and overall just more intuitive and in line with what many users are accustomed to in other DAWs. So from the outset, when you create a new project, you'll be presented with a window that asks you to name your project and select a directory for the project folder. If you prefer to work with audio montages directly and outside of a project, you'll see a similar folder where you can input a name, location, and even choose to append the montage name to the file path to keep things organized. Of course, sometimes you may want to just create an empty montage to experiment with a few things and not necessarily create and save a whole folder structure. And if that's your preference, you can simply clear out the name and select save later, and that will drop you straight into a montage you can start working with. Then, once you've made progress, whether you want to save incremental versions or create a final archive, you can do that at both the project and montage levels. For project, you can click on this icon and choose either consolidate, which will copy all of the associated files, including media, montages, batch processors, and more, to the centralized project folder, or backup, which can create either a self-contained copy of the project or a zip file backup. For a montage, the options are almost identical and are found under the process tab in the ribbon. The main difference is really just the number and type of ancillary files that will be included, and of course, the location where they're stored. Another new workflow improvement that I absolutely love is the ability to sideline tracks, which is essentially deactivating and hiding them. This not only hides them from view, but it also frees up any CPU resources they may have been using, and also ensures that they won't accidentally be included in any renders. Sidelining a track is super easy. Just right click on a track header and select sideline track. If you just have a single track you want to keep active, you can also select sideline all tracks but, and then active track. When you do sideline a track, you'll notice that the add track plus button turns green as a visual indicator that there are tracks sidelined. And then if you ever need to get a sideline track back, you can just click on that plus button and select the track you want to restore, or you can right click on any track header and use the recover sideline track contextual item. Additionally, for Windows users, there's now an included Steinberg ASIO driver that allows routing to and from the Windows audio subsystem and will also perform high quality sample rate conversion automatically if required. Lastly, there's a new filter attribute for naming scheme presets that allows you to generate new file names by refining and modifying source names. So for example, you can either keep or remove certain ranges or patterns of characters in a source name to generate a new destination name. If you're like me and you're super detailed and methodical about how you name files, this can make renaming them to something more client friendly a snap when you're done. So those are the new workflow and productivity features in WaveLab 12. If this was helpful, we'd love it if you gave the video a like and certainly take a look in the manual for more detail on all of these. We really just scratched the surface on a few of them. Also, if you head on over to the WaveLab channel, we've got more videos on other new features in WaveLab 12, along with tutorials, the Pro Workflows live stream series with Justin Perkins, and all sorts of other good content for you to check out. So go ahead and subscribe or ring that bell to be notified when new videos are available. Thanks so much, and I'll see you in the next one.